Artificial Creeps presents weird, strange, and spooky tales and visuals generated entirely by artificial intelligence. It might contain frightening or disturbing content, and all artificial intelligence models may contain hidden vices learned from their training. Viewer discretion is advised. I never expected the small mountain town of Haversfield to become quite so sinister on that faithful Christmas day. It was a picturesque place, nestled high in the mountains away from the hustle and bustle of civilization, and it was usually a joyous, festive place to be. But this holiday season, something in the air was off, as if some lingering evil had descended upon us. The children began acting strangely. They were quieter, more cautious. They retreated from the public gatherings that normally accompanied Christmas Day and instead huddled together in small groups like some secret society with unspoken rules. And then at night, their behavior became even more unsettling. They'd run through town knocking on doors and yelling strange nonsense words to one another, refusing to answer when questioned by adults. Whenever anyone tried to follow them, they'd disappear into the night as quickly as they had come. Their parents were beside themselves with worry and despair. No matter what we did or said, the children would not relent their strange behavior which only seemed to intensify as each night passed by. Some families even put their children to bed early and locked their bedroom doors out of fear that they would run away in the night never to be seen again. Soon murmurs spread amongst the frightened adults that the children were searching for something in the woods at night. A century-old snowstorm that was purported to bring bad luck and darkness upon anyone who encountered it. The adults began talking about how to put an end to this mysterious phenomenon before it could inflict any more ruin upon our beloved town. We decided to venture into the woods ourselves in an attempt to lead the children back home. I remembered my father's warnings about venturing into these woods during festive occasions. Tales of phantoms, monsters, and dark spirits roaming through them at night filled me with dread as I stepped into their depths. The snow seemed thicker here than it did outside of town. Larger flakes drifted downward from the dark sky above, obscuring our vision even further. The trees rustled as if something invisible was running through them, and I could feel an overwhelming sense of dread coming from every direction. As we reached further and further into the woods, I felt like something unseen was stalking us. A malicious presence intent on causing harm and singling out those of us brave enough, or stupid enough, to wander deep within its domain. We stumbled along in the darkness until finally we saw a faint light ahead of us. The glowing face of a young girl no older than nine or ten years old gazing up at me with a piercing blue eyes. I slowly stepped closer to her until we were stood face to face in an otherwise denied clearing. A cold wind whipped around us as she began to speak in a mysterious tongue I had never heard before. She motioned for us to follow her further into the woods deeper still into what felt like an even greater darkness than before. Eventually we came across a clearing where snow was falling heavily from the sky but it was not natural snow. It was white sparks that glowed with an eerie light and twisted together in chaotic patterns all around us. As I looked more closely I could see that this snowfall contained tiny images human faces distorted with fear as if terrorized by something unknown, something beyond our world that urged them onward despite their trepidation and dread of what awaited them ahead. I shuddered at the sight before me, 
Clearly this was the source of whatever mystery surrounded our little mountain town on this Christmas day so long ago. We had unwittingly stumbled upon an unspeakable evil lurking within its ancient snows. A terrible force which brings misfortunes and sorrows if one is unlucky enough or foolish enough to enter its dreaded embrace. And just as quickly as we had arrived at this chilling place, it vanished swallowed back up by some mysterious force within the very earth itself leaving us all silently reflecting on what we had seen here tonight. A place where unsuspecting souls venture all too often when they least expect it and never return from again. It was then that I realized why the children had ventured out on this night. They were searching for the snowstorm, and this young girl was its guardian. We tried to speak to her, but she only shook her head in response, as if warning us to turn back. Just then, out of the corner of my eye, I saw a strange dark figure standing in the shadows of the trees. It was as if something ancient, malevolent and powerful had woken from its slumber on this cold winter night just to witness our arrival. My friend screamed in terror and ran away, leaving me alone with the mysterious figure. As it stepped forward into the moonlight, I finally saw it for what it truly was. A towering creature of snow and ice, with two glowing eyes burning with hatred and evil. Its mouth opened wide and a cold icy blast of wine shot out of it, freezing me right where I stood. The snowstorm had come alive. Just then, everything went dark, and I felt myself being drawn into the creature's icy grip. I awoke some time later in my own bed to find that all those who had ventured with me into the woods were gone, snatched away by the snowstorm to an unknown fate. To this day, no trace has ever been found of them. In my nightmares, I still hear their screams echoing through the woods as they are dragged away into eternal darkness by that terrible snowstorm.